How gorgeous. Well, my name's Nick. I'm one of the pastors here at Hillsong Church. And first, I'd like everyone to take their seats. It's so wonderful to have each and every one of you here today. Absolutely stunning bride. You're a very lucky man, Jeremy. And I'd just like to welcome everyone on behalf of the bride and groom, Jeremy and Michelle. And, you know, their intention is that everyone relaxes and just really enjoys today. I'm going to start by um, just praying and really dedicating today, and not just today, but the rest of their lives, to Jesus. So would you join me in prayer? Lord Jesus, marriage is your idea. We welcome you here right in the middle the start of this beautiful celebration of love. We thank you for bringing these two two people together, sorry, to love and serve you. Thank you for their amazing friends and family that are joined here today to witness this beautiful ceremony. More than just a ceremony, though, Lord, it's a celebration of love. It's a God-ordained idea. It's a special moment, Lord, and as we remember you, We put you right in the centre of this today. Lord, we invite you to have your way, both here, in this moment, and from now on, in Jeremy and Michelle's lives, and in the lives of our family and friends that are gathered here today. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, Amen. Amen. You know, whenever I think of marriage, I go right back to the beginning, to the book of Genesis, and right back in Genesis 2, verse 18, it says, Then the Lord said, It's not good. For Jeremy to be alone. (laughs) So they'll make a helper. I think her name's Michelle. (laughs) That's going to be just right for him. And then it goes on in verse 21 and 22. So it caused the man or Jeremy to fall into a deep sleep. And while he slept, the Lord took out one of his ribs and closed up the opening. And the Lord took a woman and made her from the rib and he brought her to the man. At last, Jeremy explained, (laughs) this is bone for my bone and flesh of my flesh. And I'll call her my wife. (laughs) Because she was taken from man, and this explains why a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife. And the two are united into one. It says, now the man and his wife were both naked, but they felt no shame. And I see three things, and I'm not going to share for long, 30 minutes, I hope that's okay. I'm joking. Three, Three quick things that I see from this passage, and I just think for every person here that's married, I know this has helped me, and Genuinely speaking into your lives today, I hope this really helps and blesses you. Firstly, God used Adam's rib. And it's significant because it means that you're in this together. It's, you're in this side by side. It's not one over the other. You're actually helping each other, carrying each other through life now. You know, the goal is to actually bring out the best in each other. To every day go, God, how can I bring out the best in Michelle? And Michelle, how can I bring out the best in him? In 1 Thessalonians 5, 14 and 15, it says, Be patient with each person, attentive to each other's needs. Be careful that when you get on each other's nerves that you don't snap at each other. Look for the best in each other and always do your best to bring it out. And I don't know if there's any other married folks in here. I'm married and I know that once or twice I may have snapped at my wife and I've definitely learned this one the hard way that um, it's best to just bring the best out of each other. You know, maybe we're more attentive to our own needs than the other person, but it never works out well. The second thing I see is that he left his parents and joined to his wife. And what that means is we're actually leaving all the comfort of the past behind. And maybe it's not physically leaving your parents, but, but, you know, it's the things that you used to hold on to, the things that used to represent your family. Now you've become a new family. You're becoming a new family today. And, you know, for me, I know it was significant because my mum... She really looked after me, you know. <laughs> I remember her cooking roasts each week and, you know, it's her love language to me. And, yeah, you know, she was washing my clothes. She's doing stuff around the house, you know. And my wife, she's just expecting me to do these things now. <laughs> I tell you, she's definitely not the one that's waiting on me hand and foot, you know. So, you know, a new family's formed, but we're actually leaving the past mistakes behind as well. We're leaving the things that you know, might have been holding you back and and we're together now in a fresh new family. You know, we're accepting each other today just as you are because it's a fresh start for you together. In Colossians 3, it says, be merciful as you endeavor to understand each other. Be compassionate, showing kindness. Be gentle and humble, unoffendable in your patience, forgiving one another. 
in the same way you've been graciously forgiven by Jesus Christ. If at fault, release the same gift of forgiveness to the other. For love is supreme. And the third thing that I see is that they're naked, but without shame. But all this is representing is the fact that you're actually going to be vulnerable with each other. You need to be real and authentic. You actually need to get past the facades and hold no secrets anymore. You know, true happiness is found when you really accept each other just the way that you are. And when you feel that love and acceptance, that's when you're going to be truly satisfied in a relationship. And that means as well that you've got a responsibility. We need to cover each other. We need to cover each other's mistakes, their hurts, the things that, um, you know, maybe we need to be quick to forgive. It doesn't matter, you know, what goes on. You, now you're in this together, you know. You're just going to be the most amazing couple and bring out the best every single day. I want to finish with one more passage of Scripture. It says in 1 Peter 4 verse 8, Most important of all, continue to show deep love for each other. For why love covers a multitude of sin. Amen. You know, the couple have actually asked me to go a step beyond just making this about them in this moment, but actually help, help everybody here realize today that God's love extends way beyond just this too and in the, the confines of marriage. Actually, God's love is greater than anything and he displayed this by giving everything when he laid down his life on the cross. It says in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son. Whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And, you know, I don't know how you came to be here today. Obviously, it's to celebrate these two, but, you know, it's not by accident. It's not a mistake. God actually wanted you to be here to witness this. And maybe he wants to say something to you as well. And, you know, I'm going to pray a prayer. And it's just a simple prayer, but it's a prayer that can actually put words to expressing you opening up your heart to Jesus and maybe you know if you've never been given that opportunity before maybe um, you think well maybe I'm not good enough but the reality is God's love and acceptance his grace and his kindness is towards each and every person in this room so if you would just bow your heads and I'm going to pray if you want to pray along with me just pray this from the depths of your heart because it's not about saying words or you know, doing anything except for opening up your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ today. Lord Jesus, I, th I thank you for each and every person here. Lord, I thank you, people, as they put their trust and their faith in you today. Lord, as people open up their hearts, God, I thank you for your sacrifice, for everything you finished at the cross. Lord, that you died, but you also rose again. Why? So that we could have life, God. We could have hope. We could have forgiveness. We could actually experience true love in and through you jesus so i pray that people would experience your love today and everybody said amen amen, amen. amen. we're now going to get on to the more formal part of the ceremony is everybody doing well yes. excellent we're going to now do the vows and i'm not going to repeat them they've actually written special vows to each other so i'll let jeremy start oh with his beautiful gold book Hope you can read your handwriting, buddy. <laughs> yes. Michelle, my beloved, I vow to love you unconditionally and to be faithful to you through every victory and trial. To live with you joyfully always and giving you affection with lots of hugs and kisses. I will be graceful, kind and caring towards you. I will honour you, appreciate you and cherish every moment I spend with you, we spend together. I will always encourage, uplift, and wash you in the water of the word, and let you flourish in every area of life. I will lead you with strong faith as I am led by the Holy Spirit. We shall enjoy life to the fullest and always laugh together as we go on adventures with God. I love you. Now let's hear from Brock. Yeah, that definitely deserves a round of applause. Very heartfelt. Do you want to hold? Jeremy John Lira. <laughs> I love you very much. You are my answered prayer. You are the man that I've always desired, even better. I promise and I vow to love, to honor you, to respect you as the prophet of my home. I will appreciate you each and every moment. I'll celebrate with you always, and I'll be with you always. Through everything that God has for us, we will flourish. <laughs> 
from glory to glory, strength to strength, and grace to grace. You are the head, my master, my beloved. I love you. <laughs> wow. I think that deserves a real round of applause. No notes, and definitely from the depths of your heart to each other. It's beautiful. We now come to the, the giving and the receiving of the rings, so I'd like to ask the best man. So these rings, they actually symbolize, uh, they're a symbol of Jerry and Michelle's love and faithfulness towards each other. With no beginning and no end, they symbolize a love between them that will never cease. They'll wear these rings as a reminder of the vows they've made today before God, family, and friends. Just going to pray over. Lord Jesus, I just pray that truly a covenant's been made today. And Lord, I just thank you. Pray that you would seal it in Jesus' name, Lord. These, these rings truly are a representation, Lord, of each other, these love towards each other. I thank you for it. And I pray blessing and prosperity in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, we've come to that moment where, Jeremy, I believe it's time that you may for the very first time, kiss your wife. <laughs> Let's hear a bit more of a cheer. Let's see if we can get... <laughs> awesome. What we're going to do now is something really special. We're actually going to, as I said, they wanted to put God right in the centre of this, but we're going to participate in communion together and then we're going to sign the registry. So... As the, the couple make their way up here and the best man and the maid of honour, we're going to actually celebrate around the Lord's table in communion. And I don't know if you're aware of the significance of this moment, but um, Jesus, just before he about to went, go to the cross, he actually took the bread as they were sharing supper with his disciples and he broke it. And he said, this is, my bre- uh, this is my body, which is broken for you. Take it and do this, eat this in remembrance of me. Why? Because every time you eat it, you're eating health and wholeness, remembering Christ's broken body until he comes again. So I'm going to ask a couple just to break a piece out and share. It says in a like manner, after he took the cup of wine and represents Jesus' blood, everything that represents is, our, again, salvation, eternity with him. And, you know, all of the promises of God become yes and amen. And as we put Christ right in the center, I believe that his promises are yes and amen over your lives and over this marriage. Pray for that in Jesus' name. Beautiful, beautiful. And now we're going to come to the signing of a registry. It's going to take a little bit, so just relax, sit back. Again, if you haven't met your neighbour, this is a perfect time.
Come to probably the most significant part of the wedding, in my, my opinion. I'm, I'm going to invite the parents and some of the people that are going to come and pray over this couple just for, as we send them out today. So for those of you who are joining us and, and know about this moment, just come right in, guys. Whatever. We're just going to pray. So whatever you're comfortable to do, however you want to do this. But yeah, yeah, I'm just going to start and then you... Father God, okay? we just thank you for your glory right now. Yeah, amen. We thank you that you've joined this couple, Father God, for kingdom purpose. Yes. Yeah. God, what I ask for the same Give blessing that you gave Adam to operate in your vision. Jesus, you can feel it. Every situation, Father God, that that would be fruitful and multiplied, Father God, in every area of their life, Father God, to be the head and not the tail, to be above and not the tail. Father God, that would be one that would rack and 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 Yes, Lord. You'll be the end yeah. of the world. Yeah, amen. Yeah, amen. You will yeah. stay in this yeah. end of Your spirit will yeah. flow in this home. Your love will flow all of Jehovah. That you brought Jehovah. Your presence will flow. Your Holy Spirit will leave. Thank you, mighty Lord. Jehovah, I pray, O God. I commit the new thine hands, O God. My Father, they are yours. I dedicate them, O Lord. I commit them, O Jehovah. Father, work in their lives. Amen. 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 Yes, it's a community, O Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, we just want every one of you, this is a very important time, <coughs> a very important time which we are ushering blessings to this new family. We also want to acknowledge that God has given us a new family. Yes. It is a blessing which we have received right now from God. He's generous. We've been given a new family. And we want to bless them. Every one of us is able to speak good yes. into their lives. Amen. We want to see Amen. all the good which we desire for families. Yeah. This is something which is unique in this particular yeah. moment and in this, world, in this world we are living. This is a miracle in uh, the lives we are living. So yes. we want to speak a, a blessing upon this family. Great. Yeah. Every one of yes, you can Lord. join. Wherever you are, you, you, you can actually speak good in yeah. this family. Great. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus name. we release so dear yes, Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. your blessings upon this yes, family, Lord. Almighty yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bless yes, Lord. this new family, Almighty God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank this you, work, Almighty God. Bless them in this city, O Father. In this city of faith, Lord, dear Lord, Father. Let them be a light, O dear Lord, Father. Let their light shine in this city, O God. So that the people can see, Almighty God. Bless they are coming in and they are going out of us. Bless, Father, the fruit of their womb, O Father. Bless that which they are going to touch in this city, O dear Lord, Father. We just speak a blessing, Almighty God. We release, Father, goodness and mercy, Father, to follow all the days of their lives. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus. We say, Father, let your love overflow upon us. Yes, Lord Jesus. We release the fruit of the Spirit. Yeah, amen. Let there be joy in the family. Amen. Let there be love in the family. Let there be peace in the family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you. What a special moment. What a beautiful, significant moment. Well, if everybody would stand to their feet, so we have only one more thing to do, and that's to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jeremy Michelle Muir.